folks. I don't know about you guys, but uh, that was worth every minute for me. Every painful, embarrassing moment. All right, so what do we have here today? Um, 2012 has been kind of a weird year for me. Professionally, well, successful. Personally, very kind of weird. I had to clear some debt off, but finally I did it to get this puppy. For many of you, this is nothing, you know. You guys get striders all the time. But this is my first one. And uh, I've been waiting for some time to be able to get it. And I'm going to go ahead and compare it to my Chinese Strider that I got. So I'm not going to do a big comparison, but what I am going to do is this. Uh, just kind of do some measurements just to show you guys that uh, the Chinese one is not even really accurate to the real one as far as me measurements are concerned. I don't know if a lot of people really have measured it super accurately. But anyway, um, this is also a little mini update. I'm going to do an update later on uh, both the Chinese Strider and also uh, my Chinese Hinder. But um, anyway, so I started out with the uh, Hinder, then I got the Strider here. Chinese um, see if I like the platform and I did so I went ahead and decided to get a real strider So without any further ado, here we go. We're going to now this thing sucks It is so tight and it is dull but Finally The big moment Oh, it's from Knife Art, Little Rock, Arkansas. I'm going to leave this up here just in case. Let's see what everybody gets to see. Let's see what little bling bling we got. Got the Knife Art. I don't know how well this is in focus because I am not staring behind the camera, but this is going to be some cool bling, knife art patch. And oh, look at this. Well, you see there's a little knife art uh, sticker on the bag. I'm going to give it some back dimension maybe. That might help a little. I don't know if you guys can see this well. I'm gonna... Man, I always feel that there aren't enough Strider videos on YouTube. We can always use some more Strider porn. So this is it. So for me, um, because I've got a pretty big hand, I feel the SMF is a great fit for me. And I wanted to get uh, first and foremost, I wanted to get the uh, Knife Art Special, which are the Arctic Gray handles, but those only were coming in um, the SNGs. This is gorgeous. I'm going to just hold it up so you can look at it. Absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. So uh, I could not get the... Um, Arctic Gray. So my next choice, I thought, well, I'll go ahead and get the Ranger Green with the Tiger Stripes because the I really wanted to get a Tiger Stripe handle, I mean blade. And uh, but I realized that they were bead blasted, and this is gorgeous, uh, and um, they are more prone, a little bit more prone to rusting than non bead blasted blades. And I figured for my first one, I just want to get a real kind of uh, blade that I'm not too worried about having it rust. So I was going to get the S30V, and I realized that the only S30V that they have right now are the old lockups, and I wanted to get the new lockups. So I just decided on this. 
because it's got the new lockup and it's got the coated blade and it's uh, 154. Anyway, so this thing is ridiculous to uh, pull out. Let's see how this feels comparatively. Much easier. All right, so this is the new lockup. You can tell right here, um, you've got that flat area. So let's, this thing is rock, rock, rock solid. There is no blade flex. There is no wiggle back and forth, up or down or anything. Um, I'd say the only other knife I have in my collection that's got a lockup that's this solid is my Hogue EX2. Man, really easy. Very early lockup as well. Like really, the thing I love about Strider handles is uh, it's something that actually other people complain about, but I love, and that's this right here. I love the way it fits right in that part of my hand so I can grip it like this and it fits solid if I want to jab it's not going anywhere some people think it's uncomfortable well if you're gonna use a knife all day yeah it's gonna be uncomfortable but for single applications man you can't beat it Ooh, I can tell you right off the bat this jimping is way 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 better than this cheap Chinese piece of crap this is smooth nothing this thing is definitely way grippier almost to the point of being uncomfortable but not so this is this is also much the handle right here the uh, jimping on the blade is also very grippy actually the Chinese one, nothing. Rolls right off. This jimping over here is okay on this, but but this is like, oh my god, this thing is just catching like crazy. So of course this is the um, hollow ground three-quarter blade. And uh, if I compare the thickness of this knife and this knife, they are very close. I think, I'm not sure whether it's the coating or whatnot, but the... Um, I think the real one, which is here on this side, is a little bit thicker, just by hardly any noticeable instance. So gorgeous, just gorgeous. Oh my God, number one EDC. Now let's just see how it cuts. Another piece of paper here. Right out. Let me see how it feels sharp. Oh, very sharp, very sharp. I don't know if you guys can see this. Oh, silky smooth. This is out of the box for a thick blade. This is definitely as sharp as my uh, Paramilitary 2 or my uh, Kershaw um, Leak. So uh, let's now do a little bit of comparison between this and the Chinese one while we're at it. Um, basically, piece of shit, awesome. That pretty much sums it up. So I don't know what the Chinese guy was modeling this after. Um, I can only assume that uh, he was doing it uh, after the SMF because um, on the advertising lingo, it says SMF. And that's what I was buying with this. However, uh, comparing the dimensions between this and this, they are very different. So first of all, let's compare the closed uh, dimensions. So I'm just measuring it from the very tip here all the way out to here. Oh, let me get this over here like this. We've got um, total length here approximately is right about, eh, I'm going to try to measure it as accurately as I can. It's right about five inches or a little bit over five, five, five and one sixteenths maybe. And this is, um, oh, 
and this is just a little bit under that. It's about uh, it's about five or just a hair under five. So anyway, so this guy again, the Chinese guy is advertising this as an SMF, but the dimensions are not the same as an SM, uh, SMF. Neither are they of an SMG. They're somewhere in between. Okay, so let's go ahead and compare the blade length. This thing is just badass, man. Is oh, and this thing. Just a, a word or two. I dismantled it, relubed it, and it's still tough as hell. Okay, and I and I oh, and it developed extreme lock rock. Um, listen to this. It's like a maraca, man. You could start a band with this thing, play percussion with it. It sucks so bad. It's it's back and forth play. <clears throat> this thing developed back and forth play within about maybe uh, two or three weeks, I'd say. Um, anyway, so I I took this apart. I put some blue lube in it, and it's still really really stiff. Um, I tried. I did retighten it again to get rid of the lock rock and uh, play. And it didn't do anything so it's just it's permanently stiff and it's awful i may just use this as a total beater if i go on the beach or something and don't want to mess this up anyway so let's go ahead and measure the blades uh this and i'm going to go ahead and measure from the top right here to the edge of the blade and uh maybe a little tough to do but let's see uh, all right so we're looking at approximately uh Three and about ten sixteenths, something like that. A little over, a little over three and a half or five eighths, three and five eighths blade length. And this one, let's try to be somewhat consistent here. Um, this one is a. Uh, I really need to be doing it a little bit differently. This one is uh, definitely bigger, just um, under four, like uh, 15, uh, three and 15 sixteenths, or probably right about um, three and seven eighths. I know I'm, I don't know whether the blade is supposed to be measured from down here, but I'm just measuring it up here to try to keep it somewhat consistent. And if we hold the blades up, uh, line up the bodies, um, at the very tip here, you will notice that the um, the real SMF is a little wider and it's a little bit longer, so it's got a little bit more. The uh, blade shape is just a little different as far as just the thickness, and uh, the real one's got more girth down here. And as it goes up, this one. Um, it actually almost comes and starts to taper down a little bit over here. So they're very different. Anyway, 